Hey, what's going on YouTube? I've got a video for you here uh, that's related to how to enable RSS feeds with the new YouTube uh, API version 3.0. There were some changes made. Um, as a lot of people already know, YouTube deprecated functionality in the new API that does not allow you to easily share your channel anymore as an RSS feed. And a lot of people love doing this. This is a great way to share content on Twitter and Facebook if you have an RSS poster to just drive traffic to your content. Um, a little surprised that Google did it, uh, you know, and then not sort of inform people of new ways to do it because it's a great way to get traffic, obviously, in general by sharing your content on social networks. It's pretty simple once you know how, but yeah, they've definitely not made it easy, typical uh, Google, <laughs> but it works great um, once you know how. So the first thing you want to do is you know, just go to your channel that you have. Uh, in this case, I'm logged in a stash. I'm just going to go to my stash icon here at the top. Click on the YouTube settings gear icon. Then on the next screen, click on advanced. And on this page, you want to grab your YouTube channel ID. This right here. Just copy that out and put that onto your notepad. I already pasted it in here. And then you just want to go over to the YouTube icon here on the top left. Go down to my subscriptions and click over on manage subscriptions. These are obviously other subscriptions that are not mine. I still am looking for mine, but there is method to the madness here. Go down to the bottom and click on export subscriptions. And you'll notice that this XML file is downloading here in the bottom left corner. I did notice that if you do this in Firefox, it does not add the XML extension. So be sure to just go in and actually rename that file to be a .xml file as shown here. All right, that's that's pretty important. So the next thing I'm gonna do is just open up my RSS reader that I have on my computer. I like to use this one, Feed Daemon, but there's also Feedly and there's a bunch of other RSS readers out there that you can use. I like to use this one because it just supports most of the features you need to, to do this. So we're gonna go to Import Feeds, select Import OPML file, Click on the folder icon here and then go and find this XML file we just got. Choose XML from files of type and then go and select the XML file and click on next. So on this next screen, it's now going to show me all the, sub the, the sites I'm actually subscribed to a stash, which doesn't really help me because obviously I don't want to subscribe to these sites. I want to subscribe to my own. I want to basically get the RSS feed of my own site, which is not listed here. But I'm just going to choose anyone. I'm just going to choose Wacom. Click on Next. And then say Recreate Folder Structure. Click Next. Finish. And now I will have a new folder here in Feed Demon with my YouTube subscriptions. And it's called Wacom, which is not what I want still. But it's basically a template that I need. So I'm going to go to Feed Properties. And in here is a feed URL. Now I'm going to paste this feed URL in my YouTube channel so you guys can just get it from there. You don't have to go through all this rigmarole to get to it. But I wanted to show you this anyway in case you forget or lose the link, you know, and you just want to do this yourself. So all we need to do now is basically just go to the end of this feed URL, which is the Wacom feed, and open up the text file we had earlier with our ID in it. Copy this out go to your feed URL that you have in here and replace the characters that come behind the equal sign with your own ID and then you have your RSS feed for your channel so at this point that that URL I'll post uh, in my description below so you guys can get it like I said but uh, you know just copy that out put it in Feedly put it in Buffer app put it in whatever tool you use to post your RSS feeds to social networks and you should be good to go here in Feed Demon I'm having some issues but that's just a bug in feed even where you hit reload it doesn't come up so just put it in as a new subscription and then paste the URL in here that we just copied and uh, I already added this before so I'm just gonna say number two yes finish and now if I go to my feed here you can see this is all the titles from the episodes of my own channel that I want to share on social networks and that's really how you do it so thanks for watching and I hope this helped you guys bye